We're going to clone a SAB93 ECU into another one using this old laptop, a car battery, this OBD link adapter, and this homemade programming adapter. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel with a video of your own choice, so let's get it started. I have here a two SAB93 2 liter engine ECUs. One is from a donor car and the other one is faulty. And all we need to do is to copy the original one into the new used one. So it becomes plug and play into the car. I will connect my homemade adapter to the OBD link adapter. The OBD link adapter connects to the laptop USB and my homemade adapter connects to the ECU and the car battery. Note that we are using connector A on the ECU, which is the driver side connector. Once you have it all connected and the Trionic CAN Flasher software installed and running, select main ECU and hit get info. That's only to make sure the ECU is correctly communicating with the laptop. You will start by reading the original to the car ECU and saving its files to flash them later into the other ECU. And as you can see, we have successful communication. So let's save the file or files depending on the situation. I will read and save the main file first, then the so-called MCP file, which you may not need to do if both ECUs are either from a pre-2007 car or both are 2007 and up. So I created the folder for this backup and named one file as main and the other one as MCP. This step takes around 5 minutes to complete. By the way, you will have more information on the software and the setup if you watch my other video on programming the ECU while installed in the car. You can press on the link at the top right and will take you to that video. Now let's talk a little bit about the homemade adapter. The adapter consists of three parts. Part of the original SAB wiring harness connector A of the ECU, a generic OBD extension cable which I cut in the middle and only use the female side of the extension and a generic battery power alligator style cable. The ECU connector has numbers on it up to 64. We are going to use only 5 pins of these. Pin 63 is a ground pin. Pins 2 and 3 are battery voltage and pins 5 and 6 are for communication. On the OBD connector side, pin 5 is ground, pin 16 is battery power, pins 6 and 14 are for communication. All ground pins go together and all battery power pins connect together. And these are fed to the alligator style terminals. Let's now read and save the MCP file, which actually I didn't need to do here. I'm just doing it to show you the process if the ECUs are from different era. I'm having some issues with my keyboard here, but this step shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. Let's get back to the homemade adapter. We still have two communication pins to connect at either side of the adapter, and these must be connected in a specific way. Pin number 6 from the OBD female side connects to pin 6 in the ECU side, and pin number 5 in the ECU side connects to pin number 14 in the OBD side. So as long as you remember both number 6 pins connects together, you can't get it wrong. I'll try to leave a link in the description for an image that can help you. However, check my other programming video for more tips. Once I had all the pins connected, I got them all soldered and wrapped with heat shrink tubes. Then added some tape and you can see the final product and it's not bad at all. I got the ECU connector cut from a car in the junkyard and I got both the OBD extension cable and the power cable from Amazon for a total cost of less than $30. Once we're done backing up the original ECU, we'll disconnect the battery negative 
switch the ECUs and you should start by flashing the MCP file, that's if it's required. I will actually start by selecting main and just checking if I have communication with the donor ECU. You will have the pop-up to remind you to connect a charger to the car, but that's one of the reasons why you might want to do it off the car. Select the MCP file that we just saved and the flash process shouldn't take more than a minute. In this minute, I want you to consider helping the channel by a subscribe, share and like and maybe consider watching my other videos. I had to make the video a 10 minutes video but some might find useful information in these screens. Once this part is completed, we'll select the main and flash the file we named main. And this part is the lengthiest part, which will take around 25 minutes. There are a few reasons why would you flash the ECU off the car. Among these, first, because we can. Second, Jokes aside, as we believe it is safer to do so, or if your car has weird electrical issues or communication errors, these can render the replacement ECU unusable. But in addition to these, you might be able to make some money aside, depending on your location, if you offer this service to the public as I'm doing regionally here. So you can create ECU replicas for plug and play operation for the average DIYers. Once we're done with this step, you can disconnect the battery and remove all connections and the ECU is ready to start its new car. Stay tuned to the end where you will see more close-ups on the homemade adapter. Thank you boys and girls for watching and remember if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing. Bye bye.